Hey, what's up? Um, I want to touch on um, the response that uh, China Mac gave to Hassan Campbell. I also was touching on the racism. I have my last um, live video that I did um, about the racism that I've seen, the videos and stuff that I've seen um, in China. Um, and I like his explanation and, and, you know, how he expressed it and uh, his reasoning and stuff like that. But he should do a little bit more research and stuff because um, they have in like parades every year in blackface. And they also have the museums um, with black people pictures next to animals um, to make... Um, the comparison to, you know, that blacks look like animals or whatever the situation is. And that's a regular, like, museum that everybody strolls through. You know, it's not a hidden situation. The parade goes on every year. And that's not no hidden situation. That's a known situation. Just us blacks, like he said, some people, we stay in our neighborhoods and we don't really like go places and, and travel around. So we don't know what's, like, really going on. If we go over there, we'll see that. You know, all people is not like that, and um, this might be in one area of China where that video was displayed or whatever the situation is, but we're going to get into it, and no, I'm not saying all racist, because I love me some um, Bruce Lee and, you know, the Chinese lady that I was buying my food from and stuff like that. She's pretty cool. I even seen her handling, like, her whole uh, day's, you know, income bankroll locked in a uh, check cash in place with me and stuff like that. And um, she wasn't scared with me or act any kind of way with me in there, whatever the situation. And it was a Sunday. That's why she wasn't at the bank. So she took care of her business uh, in a check cash in place. And it was just us two in there. She always speak to me nicely and we pretty cool as much as I could understand her. So um, I'm not really um, saying that. China Mac, okay? So if that has anything to do with you seeing my last um, live uh, video, whatever the situation is, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that, you know, it's a known thing and it's not, it's not being corrected. It's like out in the open in China and stuff like that. And no, the Chinese people here is not going to act like that because, you know, they got to, you know, serve us, you know, they got to make their money here and stuff like that. So, um, and I know all nationalities uh, have racist people and stuff like that. So I understand your point there. But I, I'm also glad that you talked about the 5G. Um, and that was something I didn't know about that contract. But that 170, I think it's 170 billion dollars. Yeah, and that's that's a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what we're going through, why we're going through all of this stuff here. Let's see if we can make some sense of it from, okay, so let's get into it. I, like I always say, I wrote my notes. Um, I'm long-winded, so I'm going to try to get through this fast because I don't want this video to be long. My phone is acting up anyway. I'm recording on my phone and to keep going from light to dark. So hopefully I don't get cut off before I finish, okay? Okay, so... Um, so China Mac touches on um, the racism in China, answers uh, Hassan Campbell, and talks about China leading the way where 5G is concerned. Number one, because I numbered it, okay? Okay, so I'm happy China Mac spoke out, but he needs to do his research first. Not only about um, the videos and um, blacks being thrown out of their homes and left to starve to death on the streets, but also about the museum, the museums with blacks being um, compared to animals, and also the parade with uh, Chinese people in blackface that happens every year. Okay, so I don't know if. Um, uh, China Mac, I don't know if you was born here, you a black American or, or what, what what it is, or if you was born over here, over there and you've been here since a child and you don't travel back to China or whatever the situation is to know what's going on. Um, 
and I know that you are a rapper and a, a public figure and stuff like that. So, you know, you don't want to destroy your image by, like, you know, saying too much or anything like that. Um, and, you know, what... I, I see that, like, the cat had your tongue a little bit on it. But, you know, what you should do is, you know, be, like, real um, straight up about it or whatever the situation. You say you don't... You didn't investigate... Um, he spoke to one guy, black guy over there. He said it's not going on with him. It doesn't happen with him or whatever the situation is. But, um, yeah, I think you should have um, investigated that a little bit more and brought that back. Um, but you, I see you want to stay on the case and deal with it. Okay, so that's cool, too. Um, so now... My second point is, it's true there are racist people in all nationalities. I do understand that point um, that you made. And I myself is not claiming all Chinese people are racist. It's just accepted in China. With the museums and parades is what I'm saying. Okay, so that was my second point that it's, you know, it's kind of, it seemed like it's accepted, not only the, the videos, but the museums and the parade that goes on regular, that's going on, every, you know, the museum is like an everyday thing, the parade, I think, is once a year. I didn't look more into the, nothing about the parade or whatever, the, I just know it's a parade with Chinese people that they be in blackface, and they have like a monkey or something like that, they be riding up, be on stage or something like that. Okay, the third, um... My third point here is um, what China Mac um, hit me to, and he said for us to go Google is uh, Huawei Technologies. I'm going to spell it because I might not be pronouncing it right. H-U-A-W-E-I Technologies. H-U-A-W-E-I. All you have to do is Google 5G race. U.S versus China 5G race and um Huawei of uh, technologies company um that company name will come up because I guess they're the ones who have you know who got the contract I think um China Mac was saying the contract was with the UK or something like that but um I'm not sure of who the contract is with but um let me just read here what notes that I uh, did get so the Huawei Technologies Company is emerging as the runaway winner in China's $170 billion effort to build out its fifth generation wireless networks, part of a concerted effort by part of a concerted effort by Beijing. To seize the lead in a key technology from the U.S. while rebooting a virus-stricken economy. So, uh, Beijing is trying to uh, seize the lead in the um, technologies and the key technology from the United States while they're trying to get um, back together from this coronavirus, this COVID-19. So, they're trying to get back to their they lead in the um, technology. They're trying to bring the economy back. Okay, so number four, and this is my last point. Okay, now, so uh, China Max says that might be the reason for government trying to divide people. So that might be like the narrative. This is, this is uh, the narrative because China is leading the way in technology uh, with its 5G contract with the UK. He said it's with the UK. I really didn't um, see that point. I didn't uh, look that up, but it's a $170 billion uh, 5G, um, I, I guess, contract or, you know, the, the race, $170 billion. That's, you know, quite a bit of money. Okay. So, um, Asia, Asia is quickly leading the way where 5G is concerned. China, South Korea, Japan, and India are four of five most uh, 5G-ready nations. China, 
South Korea, Japan, and uh, and India are uh, four or five most uh, 5G ready nations. That's uh, from Google. If you uh, Google the 5G, um, the U United States versus China, you'll see this information there and you can reread it. So if you don't understand it from um, me uh, reading it from my notes, you can just go Google it and look it up yourself, okay? They provide the fastest internet speed. So that 5G is supposed to be the fastest internet speed. This is the battle for digital supremacy. So whoever wins this is going to be like, you know, I guess the world leader. You know what I'm saying? And I'm quite sure the U.S. and Donald Trump is not trying to lose. You know what I'm saying? So there's some shit going on out here, okay? So this may be the reason for everything that's going on now. And China Mac says... Whoever controls 5G controls the world. So that's what he was trying to like say. It's some big shit going on right now. It's out of our control and stuff like that. And he was expressing, you know, about when he was in jail. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, out of all the blacks, whites, Chinese, no matter what race you are, um, when they shoot those guns off in the yard, you know, um, everybody got to, you know, get down. You know what I'm saying? So it's still... Um, the law, the government, and stuff like that that's, you know, running this and controlling this, and um, they trying to pin each other against each other, so when they try to, um, when they go to do what they got to do, whatever they going to do, we don't know what it is, they already have us all in check, and they already have us um, all divided, so we won't be united, okay? And he did say that China needs to give back for you know, if they, you know, uh, um, getting all this revenue in, um, in our communities, they should give back. You know, he did, um, say that, but you see what this coronavirus is bringing out and it's taking us back like to a hundred years and stuff like that. Cause we're witnessing a whole lot of stuff and even stuff in the hospitals in the U United States. So I'm not just saying China. I'm also saying United States, like in my live video, I was saying, you know, we came up against, you know, um, like, uh, the racism here, you know, like, um, discrimination here, like who's going to come first to, you know, get the ventilators and who's going to be taking care of, they picking and choosing and, um, the actors and, um, celebrities and stuff like that. And the rich people are being tested. They getting tests before there's enough tests for, for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So they get, you know, but it's also the black people. Ildris Elba got his early cause you know, somebody at his TV set or whatever, um, had it. So, um, he wasn't even having symptoms and he got the test. Okay. So I guess it's not a thing of color, you know, it's just, you know, a matter of, I guess, money. You understand what I'm saying? So that's all for now. Uh, like, and subscribe, um, this video and, um, you know, keep following, following up with me. Keep following up with me, okay? Because I'm going to try to, this one I'm going to try to um, stay on top of because, like I said in my um, live video, from a kid, you know what I'm saying? We love Bruce Lee. You had black people out here doing karate and stuff like that. You, um, I even been to karate school. I even paid for, you know, karate school. I used to take Taekwondo and stuff like that. I need to get back in there and get myself in shape and get, um, and do some exercise, you know, karate is great exercise and stuff like that. Um, and from a kid, I've been purchasing at the discount stores and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I really don't have a problem with Chinese people and stuff like that because, you know, like, like I said in the other video, however you order your food, however you want it, they'll, they'll, um, cook it for you that way and stuff like that. And I do like that feature, you know, but, um, Yes, it was just shocking to me because I didn't know. Because I'm I'm one of those people that don't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to fly. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to get on planes and stuff like that. So I'm one of those people that stay in my hood, stay in my community and stuff like that. So I might not really know what's going on around the world. Okay? So um, he's right about that point. You know, if, if you know, 
Don't just look at these videos if you ain't traveled around the world to see how people are, you know, in these different countries and stuff like that. Just don't um, take it for um, them videos for face value because that's not everything that's going on here. Okay, so like and subscribe this video. Peace. I'm out.